Hello, I'm Atuba George. Now today is Friday, praise God. Now all week, I, I don't know about you, but I've been so blessed. <laughs> now, now, you know, I was telling you something yesterday, like when he's telling you to teach something, don't go and carry your old notes. You may start from there, but don't stop there. Don't stop there. Every knowledge you acquire from this side is your own understanding. But then he says, don't lean on your own understanding. Now, before we go on, can we call for that daily? Now, let's just call it and, 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 and just receive it. Praise <laughs> God. Say, Father, I receive today my daily bread. It's coming to me now. In Jesus' name, amen. Man, praise God. It's not a religious thing we do. We do it in faith. Because the Lord commanded us to do it every day on this broadcast. Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We just love to honor you today. And thank you for your blessing that you have blessed us with. And Lord, we are going beyond the knowledge of the blessing to walking in it. Thank you. I declare every body is lifted right now. Every yoke is destroyed. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Praise God. Woo, glory to God. Now, are you ready? Are you ready? Let's, let's, let's see how and, you know, we can land somewhere today. So, we're talking about how to walk in the light. Now, the Spirit of God, ah, you can't walk in the light without the Holy Spirit teaching you things. I'm not saying the Holy Spirit telling you things. There is a difference between him telling you and him teaching you. Now, hear this. The teaching of the Holy Spirit always ends with an instruction. Now, that's how you know that the miracle is sorted. You, you just know. Listen, I, I was telling you something a few days ago when the Holy Spirit talk, taught me about tithing. And, and then he instructed me. He said, from henceforth. This is how you should begin to tithe. You don't give that money until you hear my voice concerning it. I said, yes, sir. And I'm telling you the truth. That was the end. I lie not. I stand before the Holy Ghost, who is the spirit of truth. That was the end of me being in a situation where I am broke and I don't know what to do. It was the end of it. Why? Because he, he gave me the blueprint. I saw. I, I, and, and so when I meet people who are broke today, I say, I don't understand. We've got all this inheritance everywhere. So why don't you tap into it? Huh? You know, sometimes you sit down with somebody and you're, you're explaining and you're teaching the person. And the person is looking at it. And then you finish it. Mm, Pastor, just pray for me. Pray for you for what? Now, now you, don't, you don't finish that and say, pray for me. You know what, how you respond to someone? When someone teaches you and tells you his own experience, how the Holy Spirit taught him this, he said, thank you for this information. I am coming. That's how you respond to it. And what will you do? You go there and say, Holy Spirit, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When did you start becoming Pasha? <laughs> Holy Spirit, hold on, hold on. I'm telling you, this is, this is how I relate with him. I said, I don't get <clears throat> So there is such a thing like this and you didn't let me know and you allowed me to be suffering like this. Ah, that's not fair, Lord. <laughs> that's not fair. <laughs> Praise God. And there are ways you talk to the Holy Spirit that he, he just opens up to you. You know, Jesus said something in John chapter 15 and I think verse 3. He said, Ye are clean through the words that I have spoken unto you. Now the Amplified Version says, I think Amplified Classic says, the teachings that I discuss with you. Now watch this now. He said, you are cleansed through the words that I have spoken unto you. And then he goes further to explain the Amplified. He says, the teachings that I discuss, or some translations say, the lecture that I have with you. 
Now, First John tells us, if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And then there is a cleansing going on when that happens. It's the same thing Jesus said in John chapter 15 verse 3. A cleansing takes place through the words that I, now notice this is through the words that you're walking, it's through the words that I have spoken, the teachings that I bring forth to you. So now he brings forth his teachings. What is that? His light. And when you accept his teachings to be true, because you may, you, I could have heard him teach me concerning Titan and said, <laughs> but Lord, how can I be saying this thing? Uh, all this, all my life, all these churches I've seen, every, uh, are they all fools that they don't know this thing? You know, sometimes we think like that. Oh, I've heard people I share these things with and they say, well, um, my pastor have not taught this one. So, I think I'll just stick with what I'm doing before. Eh, it's not a problem. Continue, you get broke, you get broke. <laughs> you know why? Because they've not heard it from the Holy Spirit. So when you meet such people, you know what you say, Father, I, I just ask that the eyes of their understanding be enlightened. Holy Spirit, you taught me this thing. Can you, can you visit them? Can you teach them? Oh, same way I've met people. You know, you know I, I, See, listen, you know, sometimes you think you're the only one that the Lord is just dealing something. And then you get in that environment, you see that oh, he's gone ahead of you. And he's taught a lot more people. And so you, you find yourself in such company as that, whoa, he, he taught you this to you. Ah, he, he taught me. And some say, hey, hey, I've met, oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. I've met someone, you know, we're talking. And I said, I was just sharing these things. And I like, now I understand. I said, what? what? I said, Do you know? The Holy Spirit was instructing me to do this thing, but I didn't understand, like, why is he telling me to give my tithe somewhere else? I didn't understand it, but, but I obeyed him. But I was wondering why. I just said, maybe that person really, really needed it. I said, now you understand. It's his money. He was calling you into a fellowship that you didn't know about. Oh, brothers and sisters. You know, when we talk about finances, if we as God's children ah. If we have, as God's children will learn this thing from him. Now I'm sharing it with you as a testimony. I'm sharing with you. Now if you believe me that I'm speaking the truth, you will go meet him. You say, Lord, you taught Atuba judge this thing. Uh, you are not fair. You, 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 teach me to. I want to know this thing. You are free to talk to him like that. And allow him teach you. And say, Lord, I'm not going to tithe until we clear this thing out. What is the meaning of this? Teach me. So, so it's not one man that is trying to convince you. But guess what? When we all begin to function like this, oh, the Lord told me this many years ago. I'm like, Lord, help us, help us, help us get there. He said, if all my children will tithe right, the iniquity in the world will reduce drastically. He didn't say in the church. He says in the world. I, I, I was concerned that he said, I thought he would say in the church. He said, no, in the world. So I asked him for it. I said, Lord, what do you mean? And then the Lord said, think about it. Before, take an arm robber, for example. This guy, is been, he's been a good guy, struggling. But then someone is talking to him about going into a robbery, you know, and, and, and stuff. The thoughts are coming to him. You know, every man that does evil, he doesn't just wake up to do evil. The first thing that happens is the pressure begins to come on his mind. The pressure begins to come on his mind. The pressure can be from an external force. Somebody might be introducing him to something, but then the thoughts begin to bombard his heart. But then, before he gets up to do it, he must hinge his mind on a fixed thing. When people do wrong, they keep their mind somewhere. So, so, for example, this guy has to take care of a bill or take care of something. And that thing is 50,000 there. And, and he's, he's looked right, left. Nobody asks a few people. Everyone turns him down. Nobody's willing to help him. But then that option of stealing has been locking. 
It's been there. Someone have told him, look, come and join us. We can, we can. All those things are there. Then those things begin to come to him. They begin to come to him. And he now tells himself, if I don't get this money tomorrow, or if I don't get this money by the end of today, tomorrow, I'll join those guys. That's, he makes up his mind for it. And to him, if he doesn't get it, he tells him said that there is a sign that uh, God is not interested in me. I'll go get it. I'll go join it. Now think about it for a moment. While he's on there meditating, and someone else hears the voice of God, because the person has received money, and say, Lord, I have got your 50,000 naira tight. What would you have me do with it? And the Lord said, you remember so, so, and so person? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do. He said, I want you to send him to him. Um, I don't even have his phone number. Oh, I know someone that can get me his phone number. And then you call and get his number and then get his account details. And then he sees the money. Or you go to his house and then you know that night. He has given God that night as a deadline. And here you are hey, with your tight. And, and he knocks on the door. And then he opens. I said, oh, how are you doing? He said, fine. Well, I was in my house and God spoke to me that I should come and give you this. And then he said, oh, money? He said, yeah, it's money. I said, oh. Okay, thank you. And then you leave. And he opens it and counts it. 50,000 Naira. You don't tell me that guy is going to wake up the next day and say, I'm going to join. Nah, he becomes a preacher. He says, guys, don't do it though. Don't do it. I'm telling you, what is that? Life everlasting. Life everlasting. We begin to show the goodness of God in every... Now, you, don't, you are not going to convince that guy again that God loves him. You can't convince... He, ah, he is the one that will tell you, listen, God loves me. I remember recently, my wife was... Um, and I was not at home. I think we were having a program or something. And my wife was so tired and was just feeling down. And, and she didn't want to cook anything that day. You know, she woke up that morning and she was looking at the children and how they wanted to eat. And, and she was like, look, I don't have strength to cook anything right now. And so while she was trying to figure out what to do, then there was a knock on the gates. A true life story a few, a few days ago. There was a knock on the gates. And when they went, someone had brought food flux. I said, oh, ah, I thought to share this with you. And she, she oh, thank you. You know, I'm like, oh, thank you. And it was when she got in and opened it, it was exactly the food that my children love. And then she was like, Holy Spirit, this is you. <laughs> Praise God. This is you. Now, the same, now watch this. The same day, the same day, now, it was <laughs> afternoon now, lunchtime, evening, and then the, the children actually came and said, Mom, we want to eat um, I think brown rice. We want to eat. They, they were telling her what they want to eat. My, my, my first son said, Mommy, I want to eat rice and sauce. Now, he, he loves his food the way he wants. He, he eats the food. He, he would, he, he's so special with food that he would describe the way he wants it. So he just came and said, Mommy, this was, those were like, oh, I've heard you, you know, I've heard you, you know, but then, you know, how am I going to do this? She was just not in the mood at all. That same day, that same evening, there was another knock on the door. And they went out, and not just one food flax now, several, the rice, the brown rice, the sauce, the stew, the... My wife, my wife told me she stood before this person and tears began to run down her eyes. It's, you, 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 you don't know the love of God. You don't know it. Not because there was no money. No, it's not about money. It, it, <laughs> how can someone, and guess what happened? The person was in her house and she heard the voice of God. Say, look, make these things and take it to Pastor Tubo's house. No contact was made as for needing these things. My wife told me, said she began to cry. What was making her cry? The over, she was overwhelmed with the love of God. We said, wow, Lord. You know how I was saying, Jesus, 
You love me too much. That's the full expression of it. You, you don't tell. I can tell you testimonies upon testimonies. Why? Because if we begin to listen to the voice of the Lord, we are going to experience so much blessing on the earth. And that's what he's calling us in 2022 to do. We are going to experience so much blessing that, listen, every evil will be kicked out of the world. Ah, Father, we give you praise. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We, we just honor you, Lord. You are so, so loving. Thank you. Thank you. And I pray that your weekend will be full of the teachings and the instructions of the Holy Spirit to bring you into this very life that he is talking about. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I'll see you on Monday. Oh, sure, we will see you on Monday. Praise God. God bless you. Bye.